I am recently married. That's right, I got the magic circle. Magic circle. I'm the bravest man in this room. Saddle up, cowboys, let's do this. That's the worst thing, is like, I got married, and guys are working, oh man, you're married, that sucks, bro, that must suck. No, it's pretty awesome, dude. I can touch a boob whenever I want. Even if I'm not paying for soup plantation, it's the bomb. Second base while making an omelet. Let's do it, honey. Because that's the thing, the big stereotype is like, oh, boo, marriage is bad. And growing up on TV, watching like comedians, comedians on TV in the 80s and 90s, like, oh, I'm married and I hate my wife. She's such a, you know, it's like, dude, then get a divorce. You know what I mean? Like, if you're on TV, you probably have a helicopter that runs on cocaine. You have 150 bucks. If I get divorced, I have to split a Honda Civic with a cracked windshield. I'm totally cool. You just, just take it. You got my iPod, too. It's a bunch of Jonas Brothers tracks. You'll love it. I love it. And that's what's the other myth about you guys? You guys think you boo getting married? You think, oh, they, you never have sex. You never have sex when you get married. Are you married, sir? Not true. You can have as much sex as you want. It's just that you're, you, you become complacent. Where my wife wants to have sex and she'll tap me like, oh, honey, do you want to do it? And I'll be like, you want to move your head so I can see the end of Toddlers and Tiaras? Thank you very much. Because you watch a lot of reality television when you move in together. It's a true story, right? It's a lot. You're watching Bang Bus of Love and all that, and you know. Give me a shanker on VH1, it's a good time. That's all those things are, it's like, wow, simplex, what? I don't wanna watch that, it makes me sad. It makes baby clowns cry, oh. So sex is fine, live it, that's the secret to getting married, especially if you're younger, is just live together first. If you live together first, like a year or two, just try it out, see if somebody has restless leg syndrome. Find out if he's gonna name his farts, important stuff. Because ladies, the first date, the guy holds it in. Third date, he's like, pull my finger. <laughs> Call that one the wounded duck. He, what? <laughs> Roll the windows down, turn the heater off. Ooh, yuck. It's a Hyundai uh, Dutch oven. What else? So yeah, so sex is fine. I mean, when we first moved in together, I thought sex would be more. I thought we'd have to like, buy like a Gatorade machine because we'd be so dehydrated. <laughs> Put in one of those love swings from Ikea because I'd just be spinning her with my lap junk, but... Not so much. Some nights we'll just look at each other and be like, we would have done it, right? And then we'll fist bump, and that's all we do. That's fine. <laughs> when you're fist bumping and we're not doing it, that's when you're like, we don't have to close the door when we use the bathroom anymore. It's totally cool. We're on intimacy level. Oh. One thing I don't miss doing when we're dating, my wife doesn't make me do now, is I'm going to Forever 21 every weekend, ladies. Thank you so much, right? Just getting dragged around. The, like, oh, we're going to go to the mall, we're going to look at the sword shop, and maybe the Mac store, and then Forever 21. And the worst part about Forever 21 is there's not a single person the age of 21 in that store. There's not what within a, there's like slutty 13 about to have a baby. And then there's like creepy 45 year old cougar with asymmetrical boob job, like uh, uh, with like a band-aid. Like, looks, like, looks like crooked shoulder pads on that. I put it down with a tranquilizer gun and load it in the truck. So terrible, and that's the worst thing about Forever 21. I don't mind going like the, like the Nordstrom or the shoe store because they have that nice couch, you know, where I'll sit in the couch, the boyfriend couch, I'll play some Brick Breaker on my phone. It's a good time, I don't mind at all. Forever 21, yeah, the boyfriend couch. Forever 21 has no boyfriend couch. So it's just me and three other dudes holding purses, <laughs> looking like the laziest, ugliest transvestites in the world. Man. He didn't even shave, I'm wearing sweatpants. We don't try hard at this. You want a date? No, it's all right. Thank you.